Academics just got himself in a heap of trouble his first day in L.A. So Act just got done with the Lil Durk interview. He came to L.A. to handle some business. He's on cloud nine right now. Bro, Act is feeling himself, man. He secured probably the biggest interview of the year so far with Lil Durk. So while in L.A. enjoying the spoils of his war with NBA Youngboy, Act made an error in judgment that may prove to be a really big obstacle for him to overcome. See, that error in judgment that academics just made was while driving around at the Beverly Center, academics posted up a video on his Instagram story with Lil Durk playing in the background. At first glance, you probably watched that video and say, like, what's the story? That's what most ninjas do. Bump Durk in a whip and show the surroundings. But at a second glance, you may recognize the street that academics was driving on while playing Dirk. That's the same street from the Quana Rondo and Lil Pop incident. NBA Youngboy fans and the masses took to Twitter to essentially accuse academics of doing this on purpose and picking a side. An NBA Youngboy fan page said that academics is playing a very dangerous game, while another page accuses Act of doing this on purpose. Honestly, this happened after I seen Act with Lil Dirk. I ain't know what to think. I was going to wait for academics to respond, and academics did respond, and yo, he, yo, he went off. Like, he went off on anybody assuming that he did this on purpose. Academics essentially stated that one, he's not picking sides between no rap beef. It got nothing to do with him. He said two, the Beverly Center is one of the most popping places in LA to go. It's very popular. That low pap incident happened there, but you know, like nobody was thinking about that when he was driving through the Beverly Center. He also said that NBA young boy don't give a damn about nobody else but himself. And the fans should caution how they defend him because look at how NBA Youngboy treated him. I have a hard time believing that academics did this on purpose. That academics legit say, yo, let's drive by the Beverly Center because that's where Lil Pop passed away. And I'm going to record a video, post it on my story with the Lil Dirk song playing. I don't think that academics did that intentionally because Ak has no reason to do it intentionally. Bro, we know why the Dusty Ninjas do that. We know why the Dusties, right? Well, go on an IG story and say we smoking on the opera. We know why they do it. One, so the hoes can think they got bodies under their belt, so the screech can think they real demons, and to taunt the other side, right? But Lil Pop ain't NBA Youngboy, homie. NBA Youngboy don't love Lil Pop. So at doing that ain't going to be a diss towards Youngboy because Youngboy don't care. And nobody is thinking that Ak is a super demon who's responsible for deaths. So, so like, what's the motive? It's not there, right? So I don't think the act did this on purpose, bro. Like, anybody who think the act would do this on purpose, bro, listen. Like, you probably have a severe deficiency, bro, in your cognitive ability. All right, but y'all let me know in the comment section, man, what y'all think about this, bro? Do y'all think the act did it? But while you're at it, man, check out this video right here of this YouTuber. Yo, who had the worst apology, man, for breaking in people's homes, stealing dogs, and telling people, do you want to die? Check out this video, all right? I'm going to see you guys in this video. I'm out of here, folks. Peace.